We obviously know that you were never offered an MRI without contrast, which, I mean, if there could be any rule just across the board, I would say, like, just give people the first MRI a person ever gets, do it without contrast. Like, amen. End of story. Because you and I, we would be, who even knows what we would be doing right now, but not this. (laughs) (laughs) If that were a rule, we would not be here today. Um, Okay, so... The next one, number three, were you warned of the dangers verbally or at all? Two big announcements. Our merch shop, bondswithoutbounds.com slash shop is now open. So there's a lot of cool merch on there if you are interested in purchasing and supporting the channel. The other thing is Gadolinium64 is a website that will be a landing page for all Gadolinium resources. So feel free to check it out when it is up if you ever want to look around and see what things you can find also if you want to subscribe and like this video i'll keep making more content if not i'll stop i'm just kidding i probably won't stop but maybe i would maybe i eventually would so like it to show some support and i hope you enjoy the interview the next one number three were you warned of the dangers verbally or at all oh no (laughs) <laughs> okay. I don't think any. I don't think anybody. None of, none of us were warned of the dangers. Nothing at all. I was just the only thing I was told was just drink water. Right. Be flushed out in 24, 48 hours. Not even forty eight hours. I heard twenty four hours. So yeah, I don't know what is that? They just made up a time. And like, think about it. Twenty four <laughs> hours. Who's timing this for real? Yeah, and also <laughs> like, if they ever say like an increment of a day, then you know it's a freaking lie because yeah. most elements don't decay or break down in exact increments. Like the day is like how many hours it takes for the Earth to revolve around the sun. That has nothing to do with gadolinium. If they're telling you it takes a day, you know it's made up. You know? Do you see what I'm saying? Like, what's yeah. the half-life of uranium? It's not in normal... I mean, it's... I don't really know why I'm going on this tangent. But you know what I'm talking no, about. I mean, everything right, is, right. everything is like, random in Earth. And it's not... If they're like, yeah, it takes exactly the amount of time that we've decided to say it takes, then, <laughs> yeah, that's what they're saying. Okay. So, what... Okay, so the next question is, what are your symptoms? But I do feel like they've probably changed over the years. So if you want to give like a little explanation of what you initially had and then kind of what you have now. I know it's probably like a lot, but I'd love to just hear what you have to say. I remember everything I had. So I had really bad heart palpitations, tachycardia. Um, I experienced shortness of breath. And it was weird because like a lot of these symptoms... They would be intense and then maybe they might skip a week and then come. Like, I remember when I just had gadolinium, it was like I was getting a new symptom every week. Um, Right. That's initially how everybody feels because it's just circulating all throughout your body. So different parts are affected. Visiting every organ. It's like. Yeah. And today like, we're going my, to the pancreas we really like, oh, it's something new every week. And I'm like, it is something new every <laughs> like, week. I'm not making exactly. this up. Like, I feel something new every week. So. I had a lot of head issues, um, but as in, like, it felt like there was this added pressure to my head. I don't know. Like, from the back area, Mm -hmm. um, it felt so heavy that for the initial six months, I had to walk around with a neck pillow because my head felt so heavy. Um, oh, and I, yeah. have, I have pictures and videos of- Wait, that's kind of brilliant of you, though, to even think that, like- a neck pillow would help because like I didn't ever think of that yeah uh, I think I mean it's sad around though I didn't like actually <laughs> we just had one lying around and I was just like <laughs> and, it, oh. it worked. and it was just like and yeah it was a mess um and then I walked very very slow like I remember um one day I was walking with my sister and she was like walking the dog they were like miles ahead to me, miles ahead of me, might as well have been because I had to like drag my feet. Because and, like, you were parents, so heavy, right? Yeah, uh, I was, yeah, I felt like I was so heavy, like everywhere just had an extra weight and it was like added pressure. And then, like, the first thing that I realized, like, besides the heaviness, when I really, real, when it really hit me that something is really, really wrong, mm-hmm. is one of, uh, one of the nights I was like moving my hands. Mm-hmm. and they couldn't like 
it was hard open? for them to bend. Like <gasps> they could open, but it was like so slow. Oh my Like gosh. it was like this. <sighs> like the agility in my fingers and my hands was just oh. not, was just not. And you know fun. what's weird is like, the reason it probably hit you then was only because your hand was like externalized to you. So you could like literally witness this. Like you can't see yourself going on a walk and you can't see your head, but you're looking at your hand and you're like, okay, this isn't in my head. Like this is actually happening. But nobody saw it for me. Like they didn't understand. They were just like, well, they're probably just like, why are you walking slower? Like, Like, yeah. Like, no, with the hands, with the hands, they they didn't understand. I was just like, I feel like, I need to go like I because you know we did go to the emergency room in the beginning so I was like yeah. I, feel like I need to go to the emergency room I'm like Cause something is wrong my hands didn't used to move like this like yeah it was like that and then um did you ever have cracking bones oh yeah my but my bones still crack they're not yeah. like it used to be at all did, at all. did it <laughs> feel like drills in your bones too or not so much not so much like I'll say like thankfully I don't think I had much bone pain. Oh, okay. Bone pain is like I I could only imagine. Like I don't think I had things like that. I barely had pain in general, but a lot of my things were like more I would feel more neurological. Right. I had a lot of more neurological symptoms. That makes sense. Um and what else? Uh let's say something. Oh, night sweats. Um mm-hmm. That was in the beginning, like it was almost every night I would just wake up with my heart beating like 150 beats per minute, sweat drenched all over my face, my back, like multiple nights for like a month. You know why that like makes me sad is it's like your body intuitively knew like that, like because like the reason it sweats a lot because I've had that with food poisoning twice. Right. Where I got food poisoned and I woke up in a pool of sweat. It's because your body is literally like, oh, there's something bad in here. Let's get it Trying out. Like excrete, excrete, mm-hmm. excrete. And it's like, in it's most cases, not... that would help. Right. It doesn't help with gadolinium. I and got... maybe it did some, but it's like, it, not, not enough. enough. <laughs> <laughs> like, you should have been sweating for 10 years, girl. What the fuck? <laughs> right? Your body was slacking. <laughs> um... Uh, yeah it was just so bad and then like I had like heart pain a lot to the point where it's like I thought I was might I might have a heart attack and mm-hmm. I remember those those times um I called the ambulance uh called the ambulance like maybe two or three times during that stage because it was just like I, I would wake up I would wake up in the middle of the night just start having heart palpitations and heart pain and I was like what is going on you know yeah um obviously they said it was anxiety yeah. So, <laughs> didn't then, really die. Another thing that's weird about it is like when you have pain in your heart, I think anybody on earth would be alarmed by that, but yeah. you start to get kind of used to like being in awful pain. I mean, I don't know, or okay, pain, stabbing, whatever. Like, whatever the symptoms you are after gadolinium, you've had every range of symptoms that it almost kind of like dulls your. Yeah, your alarm up. bell like like my alarm bell like I'm not kidding I have reacted to things so badly and I'll call a doctor and be like hey should I stop taking this or this only happened to one thing I took one thing and they called I, I couldn't see out of my eyes I call them up I'm like should I stop taking it like my pupils are tiny and I can't see very well and he was like yeah never take it again I was like oh so I shouldn't take any other one like that again He's like, no, never. You can't take this drug. I'm like, oh, I'm just so used to my body going through abuse that I'm like, I can't (laughs) even tell when it's alarming. Like, so it's like, so if I were about to have a heart attack, I wouldn't call anybody. That's what I'm saying. Like, would I even know now? (laughs) Like, I'm like, I think. (laughs) And it's like, at the same time, it's like, I don't mind it at all either. Because it's just like, (laughs) take me out, Lord. (laughs) it's just like it's also like i don't want to i don't want to die in a hospital like now i understand why people are just like i don't want to die in here or they'd rather be taken home if they have like little like um little time to live like i don't want to die in a hospital i don't care what you guys think you'll do for me like i don't want to so if i do if it you know if like yeah (laughs) um 
if that ever happens to me or when I die, I want it to be like in the comfort of my own space. Yeah. Like I don't, you know, so it's totally. just, it's just how it, what am I saying? <laughs> no, I know. I feel the same way. No, no, no. We were talking about, you know, I can't remember what we were talking about, but we were talking about something. <laughs> No, 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 no. The comfort of your own home. And then before that, I was talking about how if I was actually having a heart attack, I would have no idea that I yeah. was because I have had. But I mean, it's not even about me, but it's like overall, we've had this collective experience where right. I mean, I really just am genuinely saying if there was something actually wrong in my body, I would mm-hmm. not know because I have been so inflamed everywhere. Like, like, have you ever had like your cartilage in your ear or your nose? be sore or no it's okay if you have it but like that is like something where i'm like i really think the only like only gadolinium could cause that because i've never heard of anybody having cartilage pain in their nose before i feel like i've had pain in my face right on my face yes like so weird i think (laughs) i bro have you ever had brain twitching like it (laughs) felt like wait Uh, that's that's just (laughs) that's terrifying i'm sorry for laughing i'm laughing out of like shock more than anything yeah but i know about like parts of like it's so weird for like parts of my i don't know what it is on the inside of your brain i don't know if it's on the the inside because i feel like if it was on the inside i'd be dead right (laughs) or like something would happen to me maybe it's like i don't know what it is like you know like we have a lymphatic drainage system something like maybe it's like the gadolinium passing through i i have no idea but i felt like twitching in my brain um before and it used to happen a lot it happens less now i can't remember the last time it happened but i would yeah i would feel like twitching in some parts and i'd just be like yeah (laughs) <laughs> like I don't I don't even know I don't even know what to do and it's just like and like I remember like when a lot of these things started initially happening to me yeah I would reach out to other people who had gadolinium and like they would you know talk me through it and stuff right. and then they were just telling me like you know just it's just the gad it's just the gad passing through I'm just like why are you like how are they so chill about this <laughs> I'm just like it's just the gad passing through it's just the gad you're like I know what it is but it's still and, freaking me out yeah like it's freaking me out but like now I understand their sentiment because it's just like you're gonna go to the doctor and they're essentially gonna waste your time they're not gonna right. be able to help you with this symptom but they're just like they know from experience like I've had this too and trust me like I thought I was going to die, but I'm still here, you know? So they were just telling me to be just like, just, you know, be patient. Cause I feel like in the beginning, especially is when it is the hardest. Yeah. Um, Cause you have that reaction to go to the doctor. That's why we initially uh, went there. And, but you're totally right. It's almost like a mental marathon too. And just like physical marathon in terms of like, you literally have to know like end game you're still gonna be here i mean maybe you will or you won't but like mm-hmm. in an hour like like if you're con- like i've had convulsions and like they've lasted for hours and it's like okay in a few hours or maybe tomorrow or maybe next week or maybe next month this will be just an episode of the past because it, right. it almost like exchanges organs like i don't know if you found this but i feel like it just like picks an organ one right. time like your our immune system does like our immune system right. will pick an organ go after that and then switch it up and go to something else is there someone in the background uh, he's just so loud i'm gonna have to oh. close the door sorry oh, okay no <laughs> worries right yeah go, go close the door don't worry about it <laughs> oh my god <laughs> I think she has a tracker on her phone that tracks faces, so I'm laughing because the tracker just zoomed into that portrait. I'm going to tell it. Wait, I don't know if you can hear me, Catherine. I have headphones in, so that's why I'm narrating it. Oh, okay. Do you have, like, a face tracking gimbal or something? Because it literally just zoomed I- into that <laughs> painting. It just face I did the painting. <laughs> I was like dying laughing as you were walking over there because it just like <laughs> zoomed. It was like th- like literally it zoomed straight in and I'm wait. Uh, why is oh, it not happening? Like- oh. 
<laughs> Why is that so funny? He's just waiting for him to give us. He's he's. It's his time to speak now. 